What up, what up? Oh, shoot. People hopped on this. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Drop down where you're from, your name, and a question. Get 1% better. Your name, where you're from, a question. We're about to get this started. Right now, I'm just watching MLB Network. Uh, let's get this started. All right, let's get it started right away. What up, John? If you guys haven't been on this, it's called Ask Baseball, just where you guys ask the question and I answer. Questions like motivational, instructional, opinion-based, hypothetical, questions on my struggle, my experiences, also my success. The reason why I do this, guys, is to give you guys value. I've done it all. I've done Little League, Child Ball, Pony, uh, Freshman Year Varsity Baseball, Community College, NAIA, Division II Baseball. I've coached for about seven, eight years, and I'm still coaching today. All I'm trying to do is to give you guys value, give you guys instructional, educational entertainment regarding baseball. And if you guys don't like baseball, I'm trying to make baseball a little cooler for you guys because baseball is the best sport in the game. With that, drop your name, drop where you're from, drop your question. Let's get the start, baby. This is Ask Baseballologist. That was probably my best intro. Thumbs up on that intro, baby. I'm going all the way to the top, so if I haven't gone to you, it's because I'm going all the way to the top. Love your post. Yo, what up, what up? You know, let's try something different. I'm going to go live. Let's do that. Just because there's so many people, I'm going to go live right now. Did you see the Yank game? I did not, but because I just got back home, I saw the highlight of that, um, you know, that pass ball by Rawls Chapman. What up, Johnny? Yeah. Agent Stout. Illinois, how do you get motivated to play a game and get hyped? At the end of the day, you got to ask yourself, oh yeah, by the way, best questions, I'm going to make my my uh, video tomorrow. Best questions right now on this one will be featured on my YouTube video tomorrow, Ask Baseballers, episode four. It's on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash the baseballers. How do you get, how do you get so motivated to play a game and get hyped? At the end of the day, it's about asking yourself, why do you play? Why do you practice? Why am I out here? Why am I doing this? And you can apply that to everything and anything you do. So literally ask yourself, why do I play baseball? And once you get excited by that answer, you got your answer, baby. Ashley, while I answer questions, I want to know why you guys play baseball. Drop down the question down below. Who's your favorite player? My, I, I'll give you my nine players today in, in the league. Posey, are not, if you guys see this, a, a pen broke, so... Uh, Posey, Arnado, Altuve, Correa, Goldschmidt, Harper, Trout, and uh, Carlos Stanton, and then to pitch by Kershaw or Scherzer. Nick and Seth checks you want a real challenge. Play me in LLB. Oh my gosh. Surprise, Arizona, Tyler, when did you start playing baseball? Okay, I'm going to tell this story one time, okay? At the age of three years old, when I was three years old, my mom, my mom signed me up for baseball when I was three years old and you're supposed to be five years old. So she said she lied. So I was a three-year-old balling out against five-year-olds. So that is why I wore the number three my whole life up until college. So on all my posts, if you're day one, put hashtag three, baby. Who's your biggest mentor in your life and why? Ruben, what's good? Uh, biggest mentor in my life, okay? Uh, a lot of you guys will respect this answer. One of my biggest mentors in my life was actually one of my uh, childhood coaches since I was 12 or 13. He's actually one of my uh, co-workers today, but it would be Jerry. Um, he was my coach when I was 13, um, took me in as one of his kids, played up until high school, then um, been my second dad. So shout out to Jerry, and today I still coach with him. David Chambers, what's good? How do I become a better switch hitter? At the end of the day, people put time and <coughs> people put time and effort in if they're lefty or righty. For you to be a better switch hitter, you need to put double the time. So if people are working really hard on you know their lefty or righty swing, you need to put you need to be you need to work really hard with your lefty and righty swing. So you got to put extra work. Tanner, Utah, I have contact. I have contact, but can't generate a lot of power. What should I do? Use, first off, you need to record yourself, okay? Just like if you saw my last video, um, it's me hitting. I love to record myself hitting, fielding, throwing, so now I know what my ability or what I lack in, what I need to generate power from. So if you guys want, I kid you not, send your stuff in. Like DM me your stuff, I'll give you my opinion. Deal? Also, if you guys want this hat, uh, like a discount code, DM me um, hat, and I'll send you a discount code. 
I just got back from a two month long injury. How do I get back in the groove? You literally start little. Start with your um start with taking hacks, start with taking ground balls, start with pitching, start with throwing, start with just kind of getting the groove of things by doing the little things like the like catching, throwing, catching fly balls, ground balls, and just hitting off a tee. Don't do too much yet until you're super comfortable. What's the hardest thing to struggle in the field? What is the hardest thing you struggled? Uh, I used to throw, I used to short arm the ball. So if you guys don't know what short arm the ball, instead of you know actually cocking back and throwing, I used to field it and short arm the ball. So it took me a while to adjust that by you know using bands, by um, understanding. Again, that's why I, I'm so big into recording myself. I understood how I threw when I when I compared myself. It's like actually who I compared myself when I um, played in college was Dustin Pedroia. Dustin Joy was a small guy. I'm actually taller than him, but he knew how to throw. And I noticed that when I threw, I short armed it and I needed to make an adjustment. So it would be short arming the ball uh, when I played second base. Good question. I like the questions, guys. How do you get out of a slump? I've answered this many times and I'm keep answering it. The best way to get out of slump is by stop saying that you're in a slump. It's a mindset. It's a mental block. If you say you're broke tonight, guess what? You're going to be broke tomorrow. If you say you're fat tonight, guess what? Tomorrow you're going to be fat. You're not magically going to be skinny. So you need to do something about it. So by doing that, instead of going to your at bat thinking you're 0 for 4, go to your next at bat think you're 4 for 4. It's a mindset. So get to it. Ruben, passionate about the game. Dodger fan who likes Posey. I'm a baseball fan before a Dodger fan. Let's get that straight. Remember, see, here's the thing about fans. I'm a big fan of Dodgers. I'm a big fan of baseball, but I appreciate baseball more than wearing blue. Um, I appreciate real talent. So I don't, don't, you know, this isn't to you, John, but when people bash me for, you know, appreciating this player or liking this team, who cares? I'm, I'm all about baseball. Austin, Brody, don't admit you're in a slump. My man right there. Wave. Austin, I'm not just for a future reference. You're the man. Hashtag three, baby. Oh, shoot. What happened to my live? Sorry. All right. I'm going to go my, I'm gonna go live, guys. Like live. All right. So if you guys, if I skip your question, keep, keep questioning right now. How do I get better at second base? So the best way to get better at second base is one, know what you struggle at, right? Like if I told you uh, something that you just already good at, it'd be pointless. So get, um, be specific with the question. What up, my boy? What up, what up? Give me a question. Anyone, 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 I'm going to go up. Uh, are you going on Sunday? No. <laughs> Basketball is for foot girls. Football is for a bunch of dudes hitting each other in the head. In baseball is live. David Chambers, Ohio. Cool, man. What's my favorite position? I love uh, I love shortstop. I, I love middle infield, and I love center, and I love uh, catchers. If you could play any other sport, which one? Oh, easy. I'd play basketball for sure. Good question, Ruben. I actually haven't gotten that before. How fast do you pitch? I actually don't pitch, so I'm not going to come here and brag saying I'm a really good pitcher. What's one, what's one way to improve on hitting? The, the, uh, give me a specific. Um, there's so many things about hitting that I can't just say this is going to be good. See, there's no right answer for hitting. You, you guys have to understand that. It, it just depends on what you struggle on. It's all about adjustments. Yo, I love the account, by the way. It's helped out so mucho. Appreciation. Billy, you're the man. Thank you. What got you started with baseball? My mom, hashtag three, baby. Video on what drills to do by yourself. I, I don't know the question. How many times should I go to the gym a week? As many times as you can. It's just like saying, how many times should you, um, should you hit? Or how many times should you work out? How many times should you go to the field? As many times as you can. Because at the end of the day, there's no right answer. You just, okay, let me give you guys a little pep talk. There's always someone working harder than you. So if I say work three times a week, 
Guess what? There's a guy working four times a week. If I told you work six times a week, guess what? There's a guy working seven times a week. If I told you work seven times a week, guess what? There's a guy working seven times a week, but two two a day. So in the morning or, or evening, if you if I told you work seven days a week, two times a day, guess what? There's a guy doing the same thing two a day, but he's doing longer amounts or um, just doing more within those those sessions. It's on you to decide how far, how much you're going to do within your game to get you the next game. And that next game could be Little League. It could be All-Stars. It could be Freshman. It could be Varsity. It could be JV. It could be a, a scholarship. It could be, you know, um, making the team. It's up to you. Give me a thumbs up on the answer, baby. Can I post catch? Can I post catch your videos on YouTube? I've already I already posted two, but guess what? Coming soon. So if you guys haven't subscribed to my YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube. YouTube.com forward slash the baseballers. I'm telling you, it's free lessons. Talk about Hanley Ramirez. Hanley Ramirez. Actually, what about Hanley Ramirez? I really love Hanley Ramirez, especially when he was with the Marlins. When he was with the eh, Boston. When wait, he wouldn't no, no. When he was with the Marlins, then he went to the. But, oh, did he go Boston, the Yankees in Boston? No, Dodgers? No. When he was the Dodgers, I loved him a lot. His personality is great. He's got a really good personality when it comes to team, uh, personality, etc. Um, it's kind of unfortunate where he's at now, but he's a really good person. Have I ever pimped a home run? I have never pimped a home run. Do the fact I, I'm more, I'm very traditional when it comes to play, so I like respecting the game. So there's nothing I like doing, or there's nothing I do I don't want to do anything to disrespect the game, the pitcher, the umpire, etc. So when I, all right, let me give you a little tip. I guess my way of pimping the game or pimping a home run was hitting a bomb and sprinting, because it was just my way of getting getting it started and not really admiring my work and just going and and, and kind of showing the pitcher by sprinting. Think about it; it's kind of funny. Was I better fielder or hitter in high school and college? And I was definitely better hitter all around. Uh, I think that's what got me a, a full ride scholarship in college. How do you throw hard when you're in the field? Uh, use my legs, use my core, use uh, use my whole body, and knowing how to use my body. I'm relatively new to pitching. I'm struggling with location. My stuff is pretty good, but whenever I try to gas, my accuracy goes to the window. Suggestions. Okay, so suggestions is... Uh, when you when you uh, have you know catcher or a, like a screen or whatnot, work on one spot first. When you can work on one spot first, say down the middle, then start working it uh, down low, down the middle low, uh, out out low, middle up high, up outside, etc. So work one location at a time. Once you can work one location at a time, then work on the next one. It's all about. Um, release point. Hashtag three, baby. You hate LeBron James. You should post, catch a video. What's way, one way to get more power to swing? The, okay, so literally I posted a video on my YouTube, youtube.com forward slash the baseballages. Go on it and look for the uh, video. It's called hitting drill, unleash your, unlock your power. Boom, answered. Can you post a video on drills to do without a partner? Done. <clears throat> the way Hank Aaron hit was chopped down on the ball and right as you and right as you hit the baseball twist your wrist and you will have a pile of baseballs in a general spot. I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Like I'm nothing against it. I just don't get it. Grind till you're the best, baby. Warriors versus Cavs, who do you want? Cavs, baby. <clears throat> is it bad to sidearm a baseball from the outfield? Yes, it is because Good question. The the why is really bad to side on and, and from the outfield is because your whole goal from the outfield is you're trying to throw a guy out or try to get the ball in. So for example, if you're trying to throw the ball to third base and get a guy out and your sidearm it, say the ball bounces or say it doesn't bounce, that sidearm throw, you're not gonna throw the ball straight. That's gonna move. Okay? So that's one. Say it bounces. Say you give him a one hop or you know a short hop or a long hop. Guess what happens when it hops? It's gonna move because it's it's from an angle. 
That's why from the outfield, got to throw from the top. <clears throat> I do, Ryan. But youth. How do I get better at fielding when at second? Uh, what about it? What about fielding, guys? Yes, I think kids should wait till they're, uh, they're a little older to throw a curveball. Can the Rays keep the hot streak? We'll see. Uh, you know, there's, there's questions like, we'll see. There's questions like, we'll see, because, you know, it's just a team that you, that it's a surprising hot streak. So, we'll see. It's kind of like, like the Angels. They were in a hot streak, but I knew they weren't going to keep it up because they don't have all the tools. So, I actually said, we'll see, and, you know, they're in, like, fourth, third place. What's good? How's it going? It's going great. How come some pitches throw sidearm? It's all preference. It's like saying, how come some hitters do a leg kick? How come some hitters do no leg kick? How come some hitters don't do stride? How come, you know, etc. Baseball, there's never a right answer. Guess who back? Back again. Anthony back. Back again. Yeah. What are some of your favorite drills to get better in the middle, middle the field? There it is. There's a good question. So one of my favorite drills, if I have my infielder or if I have my shortstop or second base, I love um, doing double play drills. So for example, I loved working, you know, uh, glove, flip, glove flip. I love working flip. I love working toss. I love working backhand flip. I love all this stuff so that um, you are on the same page and your chemistry is built up. That's why Correa... That's why all these middle infielders have great chemistry because not only should they be really good friends outside of the game, but they should be really good friends um, during the game. So therefore, it would connect them better. What do you what's, what do you think is the most exciting? Uh, to what team do you think is the most exciting this year? Um, Honestly, I think the most exciting thing about baseball this year is Yankees and Boston are really good. You know, that's something I've always looked up to or looked, yeah, looked up to is that rivalry, not only of, you know, the rivalry, but the rivalry of being good because it's, it's hard to be a rival when one team sucks. That's what I'm excited for. <laughs> Should I play trial ball or juniors because I can't play the Little League trial ball? Guerrero was good. Where are you from? Southern California. Can you post videos on drills to do with a, without a partner? Yes. Done. Done. Haven't checked out your YouTube yet. What kind of content do you make and stuff? Okay, so if you guys haven't checked out my, uh, my YouTube, the, the videos I make on YouTube, the videos I make on YouTube is um, instructional. It's the same thing I do here on Instagram. I just, uh, I just been, you know, more attention on Instagram, but it's gonna be bigger as I get bigger on Instagram because the vi the videos I make um, or the the, the uh, information I say, there's so much to say, I can't say it here on Instagram. So it's like saying, I can't tell you, I have to show you. That's what YouTube is about. So I'll do instructional, I'll do motivational, I'll do videos that's funny within the game. I'll do, um, I've been doing Twitch lately on MLB The Show. You know, something that I, I, I kind of have to see if I, if I want to do. But, um, and then most importantly, there's a lot of, it's more instructional and entertainment. So, and then as the, as I get bigger, there's something I really want to do. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it, but I can't tell you right now because there's all these guys that are, are copying me when it comes to concepts I'm doing. So all I got to say is subscribe to my YouTube, youtube.com YouTube forward slash the baseballogist. Turn on post notifications. I'm telling you, it's going to be dope. If you guys like my Instagram, it's going to be even more dope over there. How did you motivate How did you motivate and prep for your game in high school and college? The way I motivated and prep myself is I love, I never loved getting hyped. I've always loved getting very relaxed because baseball is not a hype game. It's not like football where you can get super hyped and put all the energy into tackling someone or, or running and juking something, someone. Baseball is a very patient game, so... It was weird to me to get hyped when I'm waiting at shortstop, or it was really it was really hard for me to get hyped for you know because I was a leadoff hitter. It was really hard for me to get hyped for an at bat and say I grounded out. 
then what happens, you know? So what I like doing is I actually liked listening to like relaxing music, like acoustic music, or just things that got me in the mood, the mindset of like um, being motivated, but in a common collective way. Boom. Good question. Really good questions. Well, how do you think the Red Sox, the Reds can get better? Uh, better pitching. It's ninth inning with one out. Runners on first and third. Score, 3-3. Three, three. Which batter would you put next? Trout or Harper? Trout is the best player in the game. There's my answer. Be sent, be sent in your opinion if it's better for someone from the outfield to throw overhand or set him. Uh, I don't know the question, but uh, overhand. <laughs> High school socks or high socks or pant legs down. But okay, so pant legs down one. That's one of my answers. And high socks only if it's high stirrups. None of the low stirrups because you look stupid. High stirrups. So what I mean, if you guys don't know what I mean, um, you know, like the, the cut where you can see the white. I don't like the low ones. I like the high ones where it, it's stretched out. Best baseball brand of cleats. New Balance. Oh, I'm going live again. Sorry, guys. What's your thoughts on Otani's pitching? I think Otani is dirty. Uh, the the excitement I have I had for Darvish when he first went to Texas is the same excitement I have. I just love um I love the move I I just love the mechanics of Japanese pitchers and the movement they have on their balls. It's crazy when especially when a guy that throws 99 with a dirty split a curveball. It, it it's it's crazy. Right? So I'm very excited. Sent you hitting videos. Sick. Do you think Plutko will keep pitching good for the tribe as he hasn't gotten his feet wet that much? We'll see. Um, I, I've seen his stuff. He's pretty good. Um, all I got to say is he's a good five pitcher. Right? And that's, that's a good compliment. You know? So he's a good five pitcher. So we'll see. Bro, they crazy in Japan. They crazy in Japan. What's a proper way to throw a slider? I will show you next time when I have a ball. I can't. If I want, if I go like this, it'd be kind of stupid. Is it easier to transition from infield to outfield or from outfield to infield? That's a really good question. All right. So my opinion on that is it's easier to transfer uh, to transition from infield to outfield than outfield to infield. The reason why is because infielders, majority of infielders, especially let's talk. Okay. Majority of infielders are athletic, right? So for them to receive a ball, it's, it's, it's athleticism, but for them to move in the outfield, their transition is it's, it's, it's just a different type of read, right? Instead of reading the ball from the ground, now they're reading um, per, uh, perception depth, right? And, but from outfield to infield, if you are if you are a constant outfielder or been an outfielder the, the, your majority of your life, it's hard. You, it's like getting ground ball isn't like it's not second nature, right? Because the way you receive a ground ball from the outfield, it's your way further. You have so much more time, and it's not supposed to be a bang bang in outfield when you do get a ground ball. It's like get behind it, make sure you receive it well, throw the guy out, or just get it in. But for in infield, your reaction time is way quicker. So just the the reflex and the way you've grown up from infield is way different from outfield. That's why a lot of infielders, actually, that's why a lot of outfielders in the big leagues were majority infielders because and then pushed out. You hardly, hardly hear um, what do you call it? outfielders become infielders? You know, over time. I'll give you one example. Um, someone that they, that no one really knows or not known really knows, no one really knows about is Jose Bautista. Obviously, you know, he's where he is now, but he was a third baseman back then and he became outfielder. You know, he had a great arm. He's pretty athletic, but just his, um, he just had, didn't have a great glove. So they just push him out to the outfield, right? Uh, Chris Taylor, Chris Taylor was a utility guy. He is a utility guy that played, um, I know he played short for sure. He became the center fielder. Look where he's at now. He's back at short. Another one, D. Gordon. D. Gordon, in not, he's not top five second basemen, but he's got speed. They push him out the center field. Who else? I go on and on. 
Trey Turner. Trey Turner is currently the shortstop for Nats. However, when he was a rookie or when he was very young, they made him play center field um, first. Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger's first baseman. Last year, he didn't play first base. Actually, he didn't play first base at first. No, actually, hold on. Why did he play left field? Because Adrian Gonzalez was gone. I think that was it. Adrian Gonzalez was still at first, and they put Cody Bellinger in left field. He's, a, he's an infielder, right? Now, again, um, just, just the way it goes, Cody Bellinger right now plays first and center now, and Muncy plays first. So my point is, man, I went off on this. It's easier to go from infield to outfield than outfield to infield. That's a good question, Gabe. Woo! I'm on a team that doesn't have any experience like this. There's first season. The only people that have experience are me and the coach's son. What I'm saying, though, is it's a good coach, but I'm not surrounded by self with the best players. What should I do? Freddie, so I don't know if you play Little League. I don't know if you play Pony. I don't, like, I don't, I don't know where your situation is, but get yourself in a situation where you're competing against, not competing, when you're playing with good players. Because I don't care if you're the best guy on the team, you no one's pushing you except one or two guys. At the end of the day, you want to put yourself in a position where you are uncomfortable. I, I, I mean the sense of there's competition around you and it'll only push you. <sighs> Bro. I done forgot about this. Have you done the ball in the sun vid yet? No, but I will. I just screenshot it. Zobris. Zobris is a good one too. Zobris is a second baseman with the Rays, with the Cubs, and Bias came out of nowhere, pushed to left field. And Bias is now the second baseman, and Schwarber's in left field. Now Zobris, I'm pretty sure... Is left is left field and right field. I, I think I think he platoons with uh what's his face Hayward because Hayward's terrible now. So it, give me a thumbs up if you if you like my answer about infielders are it's easier from infield to go to outfield than from outfield to go to infield. What are you supposed to say in high school when asked what position you play by coach? You say your primary and your secondary, but. Don't say I only play short and center. Say I play short, that's my primary, and I go, I would say this, I play short and I can also play outfield. So now you can play all, uh, you know, you can have all three. Or you can say I'm a primary shortstop, but I can play all um, infield and I also play outfield, boom. Now as a coach, it's like, dude, he's valuable. But when a kid tells me, oh, I only play second base, guess what? Say there's a better second baseman than you. You're, you're, you're going nowhere. So if you're a primary shortstop, say I, I'm a primary shortstop, but I could play infield, I could also play outfield. Boom. You like that answer? <clears throat> I'm losing my voice for you guys. That's a bomb. How do I know when to dive and jump and how to react quickly to those hits? At the, I, there's no, there's no answer I can f like, fizz, like, just tell you to say, oh, you should do it now. Like, oh, lift up your right. No, it's all about, uh, it's all about reaction time. It's all about repetition. It's all about kind of understanding, um, your athleticism, understanding how, how, like just how to catch the ball. So it starts off in practice. You know, these guys, that's why when you see guys rob a balls or even dive, it looks so easy. They, it just, it didn't just happen. They do that at practice. Like physically they do that. Like they do diving plays or they, they play off the wall. It starts in practice. Lon, uh, Lonnie, what's good? Did a great job switch, switching from third to right. He was terrible. Oh yeah. He was terrible at third, but at his, yep, you're right. Who is the best overall hitter in the LMB? Oh, I like this. I like this. I like this because not everyone's going to agree with me and I love it. So right now, put down who your best hitter, who the best hitters in MLB is right now. I'm not going to look at your answers. Ready? I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you three and not in order. These aren't like these. I don't think they're the best, but they, uh, for sure they stand out to me. I got to put Mike Trout. Um, I, I got to put that out. Mike Trout, I would say Altuve, 
and this is my sleeper. A lot of people don't agree with this, but I, I, I truly appreciate his style of hitting, and I like it. You ready for this? Daniel Murphy from the Nats. Boom. Runner at third for the tying run. And batter is the winning run. Who would you have? Trout, Griffey, Harper, and they're, not, and they're 99 overall. Pitchers, Nolan Ryan, which is also 99 overall. Damn, Anthony. That's, that's kind of easy to me now that you said it. Um, hold on. Let me screenshot one of these questions. Anthony, come in with the questions. I would go Griffey. I'll tell you why. Um, Griffey is known to be a home run hitter. Trout, yes, he does hit home runs. But if I were to put my money on a home, see, they're all they're both ninety nine, so I'm putting my money on a home run hitter and a lefty hitter against a righty thrower. So I'm going against odds now. You, you know, what do you guys think, Griffey or Trout, uh, for a game winning home run? Does modeling a swing after a pro help? Yes. And I don't know if there's anything besides that answer. It's just yes. Like, <laughs> yes. Uh, Cody Bellinger or Corey Seager? I, I like both. I do definitely like both. Um, overall, I love Cody Bellinger because he has a better glove. He's more athletic. He's more valuable. He can play first. He can play outfield. Corey Seager is not my top shortstop. But he's not even my top five as far as overall. But his hitting is pure hitting. But I'll take Bellinger because he's more valuable to me. What are the skills that scouts look for first? What should a player focus his time? Good question. This is, uh, this is probably a question you already know, Gabe. But I like the question. What are skills that scouts look for first? Where should a player focus his time? So, I mean, I, I, it just depends on the, the, the position they play, right? So, say I was a shortstop and I was... Uh, you know, I was a shortstop. I if, if someone said this guy's a good shortstop, you got to have a good glove, good arm, athleticism, and just a good bat. Just like just like the the um the the givens. Does that make sense? So my point is the givens. Can he throw? Can he field? Can he hit? I truly believe that's what you need to. Um, that's what you need to like for sure have. And then now qualities afterwards. Once you pass the he's good test, now it's does he have good um, does he have good judgment? Does he have good leadership? Does he have good hustle? Does he have a good attitude? Does he does that make sense? It's like the etc. Right. So the first thing they look for is is he good? Center field can does he have range? Does he have an arm? Does he have a bat? Does he have speed? Right, obviously, first base that wouldn't be your the biggest um, thing to work on if you're a first baseman is speed because you know it's it's not like it's it's not an essential as a first baseman. It'd be nice, but it's you gotta. So, question is, what are skills that sk so skills that scouts look for first is the given skills depending on your your position. Oh, you're a good ca say you're a catcher and with a good bat, but a decent catcher, you just don't pass the test because. Um, you know, we, they could find, uh, catchers with both qualities, both, um, good catching, both good, uh, hitting. So be good at what is the given and then work on good personality, good, um, good leadership, good, um, what's that word I'm looking for? It's like saying good vibe, like good, um, like aura, there's another word I'm looking for, but you guys understand what I'm saying, right? Good question, Gabe. You, someone said Arnado, Bartolo, Trout, Mike Trout, Mookie Betts, sick. Dana Murphy, yeah, someone said Dana Murphy. I'm going back in the front. Intangibles, there it is, that's another good one. Intangibles, right? Gabe, what, what's your opinion? What, what would you look for? Say... Say for an outfielder, an infielder, and a pitcher. So overall, what would you guys look for? What do you think is the answer? Uh, if you're a scout, what do you think scouts look for? I actually want to know your guys' opinions too. So Gabe, if you can. 
What part is I'm from color? What I'm from Southern California. Do I like Toronto Blue Jays? I like uh, Aaron Sanchez from Toronto Blue Jays. That's my boy right there. Aaron Sanchez is the ace of the Toronto Blue Jays. It is not Marcus Stroman. Do you think Rizzo's slide was clean or dirty? Oh my gosh. Let's let's uh, give this question some time because I love this question. Let, let's give it some time. Actually, right now I'm not gonna. It's not live. I can't see the bottom. I I, I, I held it. Clean or dirty? Answer down below, and I'll tell you my answer. Real baseball players will, will agree with me. Actually, I mean, it's, it's a penny base, but it's my opinion. Apple juice. Ice. <laughs> Anthony Rizzo's slide was clean. Okay? I'll tell you why. Um, I'll tell you why it's dirty. It's dirty because people, it's, it's not, it's not sensitive. It's, uh, it's sensitive is like the word that people, um, it's hard to explain. The reason why people are sensitive about it is because the whole Posey incident, I get it. They made a rule about it. I get it. Right. But the reason why it's clean is because there's no, there was no harm done. Uh, like, like that was low key. Like, uh, like he did get taken out. Like he got hooked. But it was a clean slide, like he. It was like a flop, you know. He, he was trying to sell, like, dude, you, you know, as a catcher, like the mindset as catchers now is like, oh, he clipped me. Now, like, like he should be out, right? But that was old school baseball to, you know, not be doubled up. So I don't know the rule. Actually, I don't even know what what happened, like the rule in the play. But it's a clean slide because he did the, his job, and it wasn't. You know, it, there is no injury, right? There's no injury, especially if you hook someone like that. It's the chance of injury is unlikely. So the dude is fine. Um, actually, you tell me what happened. Was he out or safe? Brazier season are better than I thought. Clean, smart slide. Yeah. See that? Clean, smart slide. That's exactly what I said. Clean, smart slide. He did it to prevent the dull play. And not only did he did it, um, you know, to prevent it, he took him out. That's that's correct, right? But the wave taking him out wasn't, it wasn't hurtful, right? It didn't hurt him. He didn't, you know, he didn't slide in his knee. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't cleat him. He hooked him. He like this is the foot. He 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 hooked his foot to where he could be out balanced. He didn't slide into his foot because that is dirty in general, right? But he hooked him to where he swept him and got him out of balance. Clean. Compare Rizzo slide and Utley slide and okay, one is maybe clean and the others like I don't know maybe want his teammate to be safe. All right, here it is. <clears throat> I'm a big all right. Damn, I'm coming with the, the, the questions today are really good. Wow, good job, Baez. Baez is doing a good job for Dodgers. I don't know why he's still pitching. The difference between that is, first off, Utley is arguably, if not one of the most classiest baseball players in the game today. Okay, He is a ball player. And I truly believe he's going to be a coach later on. The reason why he did that is to be a team player. Did he do it wrong? Yes. But the reason for that is there was no rule, right? So he, he essentially was correct in doing that. But the way he did it, he did it was very dirty. And can he turn it around? Probably because he did injure the guy. But... His intention wasn't to hurt him. His intention was to make the dude safe, which he did. However, the reason why it was dirty is how late of a slide it was. It was a very late slide. Excuse me. It was a very light slide to where the impact was not only a slide into the body. The impact was like a jump slide. Make sense? That's the difference. It was, um, and it hurt him. So the difference was it hurt him and it was a later slide and it was more impact. 
Scouts play for attitude, focus, work ethic. They do after they notice that you're good. Ruled out at plate. No obstruction on reply. Okay, cool. Replay. Oh, okay. No, don't play. Didn't call it illegal. Cool. Who do you think is better, the pitcher? Kluber or Scherzer? Scherzer for sure. And uh, that could be pinning base, but Scherzer is one of my favorite righties in the game. There's, there's, I was going to say there's something about him, but just his demeanor. That was the word I'm looking for earlier, er, er, Gabe. Demeanor. You know, it's like saying a good, I'm going back to that, that, uh, that, what do you guys look for? If this shortstop is a good infielder and a good hitter, and this shortstop was a good infielder and good hitter, but his demeanor, demeanor is like personality, the way he, he, um, presents himself. If his demeanor makes me feel more confident, I'm going that guy and that guy. But anyways, Oh, yeah, back to Kluber Scherzer. Scherzer has this demeanor like no one's touching him, right? Like like, um, like he's a very, uh, not hothead. Hothead isn't the word. He's a very aggressive type of pitcher, and I love it. You know, he goes balls of the wall type of guy, and I love that as a pitcher. I, I, I truly don't like cocky players, but if a pitcher is cocky and can back it up, I love it. Because that sets the tone, right? Kind of like a kind of like a John Lester is a very hothead, but um, if he could back it up, it, it's 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 cool, you know. Uh, Kershaw is not a hothead, but he's a very passionate guy and he's a very emotional guy. And when he shoves, guess who feeds off that? Everybody. <clears throat> Man, my voice is about to be done. Someone take my boy baseball just to a dating game. <laughs> oh, what up, Bianca Michelli? LA girls want him. <laughs> Anthony, my boy. What time is it? Where you're at? Uh, it is Southern California time. I don't know what time it is. Uh, 9.22. Which is worse, a batter hit in the face with 100 miles per hour or a 100 miles per hour come back to the pitcher? That's actually a good question. Let me actually think about that. I'm mean, okay. They're both they're they're both not good, but I'm thinking in the sense of would I rather be? Here's a better question. What's worse, a batter with a hundred mile power to the face, or a hundred mile power to the pitcher's face? Not uh, a batter hit in the face because it's it's different. They both suck. Okay. I would say it's better. For a hundred mile per hour to the face where I can avoid as a batter because I expect the ball coming my way. If I see the ball coming at my face, I'm dodging it. I'm avoiding it. I'm going inside turn. But as for a pitcher, they don't. They don't. Re, they don't think that the the ball is going to come because the chance of that happening is unlikely. That I would just. It, it would be surprising. So I would go as a hitter. Thoughts on Blake Snell. Do you think he's the brightest young pitcher outside of Otani? Um, he's a definitely a bright young pitcher, right? A lot of talent. But it's hard to put that in the same level as Otani because Otani, you know, we don't know if Otani is a, a bright pitcher, you know? So um, based off what we see, he's definitely um, someone to be looking out for. Do you think it was smart for the Toronto Blue Jays to not sign Jose Bautista? Yeah, I mean... I don't know why they didn't sign him besides him getting older. I, I don't know, but they're def they definitely need to make moves to be, you know, in, uh, in the top, you know, to be, to be a, a good um, team. Well, my boy, Julio Urias will take Alex spot or triple A, triple A. Um, I don't know. That's a good question. I, I don't know how, how Alex Wood is doing. I'm, from what I remember, I, I, I heard he's doing good. I, I remember he's doing good. So we'll see. But, you know, the Dodgers aren't deep with their rotation, so he'd probably steal a spot. Um, and if he does really well, he'll stay and steal one of those guys' spots. 
what I really want is I want Maeda to go to, um, the bullpen. There's something about Maeda, what he showed in the uh, in the playoffs. I really want him to go to the bullpen. Not that he's not good in the in the uh, in the, in the uh, starting rotation, but I'm rooting for Julio to be good and then Maeda to be pushed to the bullpen. What up, Derek? What are the things that kill players' careers in college? What have you seen? Ooh. Stupidity. You guys hear that? What are the things that kill players' uh, careers in college? Stupidity. Stupidity and lack of discipline. Okay, I'll tell you what I mean. That is, you know, most people go to college, they're the, they were the best high school players. Think about that, right? But a lot of those players that go to college, just because they were the best in high school, they think that they don't have to work as hard. And stupidity kicks in to where they're, they think they're comfortable. Stupidity kicks in to where they get into stupid things. Stupidity comes in to where they get into bad influences. Stupidity comes in to where they start hanging out the wrong people. Everyone was good coming in. But now what, de what's, what defines a really badass player in college is those guys that can separate themselves from what is good and what is bad. And that's called discipline. Boom. What teams do you like watching the most outside of the Dodgers? I actually wa uh, I like watching all baseball, but if you really tell me to pick one, I'd say Yankees, I'd say Red Sox, I'd say Angels cuz I I I'm here in Southern California. Um I would say Houston Astros, I would say Nationals, I would say who else? Indians. I'll give you one more team. No, nah, that's it. Yeah, those teams. <laughs> Predictions for Harper and Machado. Machado's definitely, definitely leaving. My opinion, definitely leaving. Harper, I think he's leaving if they don't do well or if they choke in the playoffs once again. <laughs> if you're a Dodger player and you have friends tell you be nice for the Giants. What? If you're a Dodger player and you have friends tell you be nice to the giants what would you respond to them with that face do you think it's smart on the indians to move tomlin to that bullpen yes <laughs> anthony valdez i got you my boy all right guys i'm gonna answer two more questions and i'm gonna head out of here all right my voice is gone and this is probably arguably the best uh, ass baseballologist. So shout out to you guys. Oh yeah, if you guys want me to do another one tomorrow, turn on post notifications on Instagram, on story and uh, post notification on st post notifications, post and story, and I'll do one tomorrow. So be on the lookout. Dang, Pudge's bro uh, son got a hit too. Pudge Rodriguez, Derek Rodriguez. Are you trying to sadden me? No. Why AG starts playing baseball at three? Give me a good question. Give me a good question. I'm going to head out of here. When is your next video going out? Help me get out of my slump. Uh, I'll help you right now. Get out of a slump by stop saying you're in a slump. It's a mental, it's a mental block. Stop saying you're in a slump because that gives you an excuse to suck for the next at bat or the game. Since scout don't usually look at practice, who's more likely to be given a scholarship, a natural player with bad work ethic or not a natural player with great work ethic? Probably a natural player with a bad ethic because he's good. Um, scouts put their money where talent is. Favorite baseball food? Um, I like I like nachos at, at stadiums. I, I love nachos and I love um, I love the I love the signature dish. So Dodger Stadium would be like carne asada nachos, hot um the the uh, Dodger dog, and then you know everywhere everywhere else for um other stadiums. <laughs> Who will win two thousand eighteen World Series? Yankees, Astros.
It's hard. <sighs> Dodgers? If I say Dodgers, people are going to hate that. I'm going to go Yankees Astros. Oh, those are my two right there. Do you live near Temecula? Yeah. He said he doesn't hit home runs in batting practice. Yeah, I know. All right, guys. I'm going to head out here. I'm exhausted. All right. Did you guys like this live? Was it cool? Were you guys here the whole time? Give me a thumbs up right now. If you guys, if I, if I get a lot of feedback, if you guys subscribe to my YouTube, uh, link is in my bio, youtube.com forward slash the baseballologist. That'll show me how much love I get. And if I do, if I get a lot of love, I'll do another live manana. Cool. To the best baseball fans on Instagram and YouTube and all over the world. I appreciate all you guys from the bottom of my heart. Get 1% better. Don't be average. Stop listening to the people who don't have the results. Stop listening to the people who don't have the results. Don't be average. Peace out, brothers and sisters. Peace. Hey, subscribe to my YouTube. Stop playing around.